Uh, hey, Brian, I wanted to ask you about the job the offensive line did yesterday. It kind of got lost in the mix a little bit, but um, certainly down two starters in the fourth quarter. Uh, they were impressive. Your thoughts when you watch the tape? Yeah, I thought um, you know, offensively, but Chan called a, uh, a really nice game. I thought you know, our staff did a good job getting got those guys prepared, and then they went out and executed um, across the board, O-line, tight ends, receivers. The backs ran hard. Um, and we executed. Steve? Uh, Brian, to what extent is a running performance like that something to build on the rest of the way? I think, you know, we build on, we, we want to build on execution. That's that's kind of been, you know, what we talked about on a week-to-week -week basis. Um, every week's a different challenge, so... Um, you know, it's nice to have some success, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything in the next game. Um, you have to, we have to prepare and execute um, in whatever element of the game we're talking about, kickoff return, punt return, kickoff, field goal, field goal block, run game, pass game, drop back screens, run, run defense, you know, it's, it's about execution. Omar? Brian, I, I wanted to get some clarity and I, I hope that I'm sure you sure you could provide it. Uh, on the two special teams plays that you guys had called back uh, the last two weeks, uh, were, were the players supposed to declare themselves as eligible and doesn't that negate the fact that it's a trick play? Like what were you supposed to do? Yeah, they, they're supposed to report as eligible. Um, to the you know, referee or umpire. Um, we didn't, you know, those are things pre-snap we have to do a better job of. I mean, look, did we report? Did we not report? I mean, it's one of those things where um, uh, we have to do a better job, you know, coaching that, uh, obviously. Um, you know, my side starts with me. Um, and, uh, and we got to execute it better. Uh, as far as uh, what's the rest, is that, does that answer your question, Omar? It, it does, but so every time somebody's on the end of, of a special teams line, they have to declare themselves as. So if you have an ineligible number, you have to report as eligible. If, if you have an eligible number, you, you, you don't. It's just kind of, you know. rules. Josh. Hey, Brian, good afternoon. Um, you've been an advocate for diversity on many fronts in the past, whether it be for matters uh, within your team or advocating for other minority coaches in the NFL. Uh, what do you think of the potential matchup between Tua and Marcus, both Polynesian quarterbacks? And regardless of who starts for Vegas on, sun on Saturday, I know there's some questions there. Uh, how do you think these both of these quarterbacks have represented their homes and made the most of their opportunities to reach the highest level? I think they're both very talented. Um, you know, had a lot of success, you know, um, you know throughout their careers, lives. Um, from what I know about, uh, you know, Marcus, and I mean, I, I never met him, but you know, what I've heard uh, just in talking to people, this is. Uh, you know, somebody who's um, embodies a lot of the uh, characteristics that, you know, we're looking for in, 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 a, in, a, in a football player. Uh, tough, smart, team first. Um, obviously, two is the same, that same way. So, um, you know, a lot of respect for, for, uh, for Mariota as, as well as, you know, Derek, you know, you know Card and, and, and that entire, you know, team and organization. So, um, but this will certainly be a challenge this week. Hal? Hello, Brian. Um, yesterday, you had mentioned that uh, the injured guys came close to being able to play yesterday. And I'm wondering, in the case of Mike Kosicki, you know, when he went down, it looked, uh, at least to my eyes, it looked like it might be a serious injury. So I'm wondering, was the injury just not as bad as maybe it originally appeared? Or is this a credit to his toughness 
that he is on the brink of returning so quickly. Well, Mike's a very tough guy. Um, and again, you know, I think, you know, for those of us who don't have, you know, medical degrees, it's hard to say, you know, it looked like, you know, it was, I mean, we just don't know. I mean, we're not looking at the, you know, the, the x-rays and MRIs and things like that. So, you know, we leave that to the doctors and, um, uh, you know, that combined with, you know, uh, you know, Mike and his, his, his willingness to, uh, or wanting to, to get out there um, and fight through some things. So, uh, you know, he, along with a lot of other, our other players are really trying to fight through and get out there as, as quickly as they can. Um, obviously we, we wouldn't put them out there or even practice them if we didn't feel like they could, um, you know, withstand a, a, a practice or a game. Um, you know, their health is first. Um, but, uh, you know, he's fighting through it. Armando? I'm just trying to find out what the prep schedule is for this week, a game one day earlier. Um, so we'll walk through tomorrow. And we're still talking through the rest of the week as far as you know, how we want to handle that. Travis. Hey, Coach. Good afternoon. There was a third and eight play at the end of the third quarter where you had a Patrick Laird run for 12 yards and a first down. And I was curious, um, is that something that Tua has the autonomy at the line to check to that call? Is it something that comes into the headset? I'm just wondering how you got into a running situation in a play where traditionally it's more of a passing situation. Keyword traditionally. It's a good call by Chan. Uh, I think it's one. It's honestly one of my favorite plays in the game. Um, you know, they they play some multiple fronts there. You know, in in, in their uh, it's called a dime to seven and eight DB packages. Um, and Chan Chan felt like there was an opportunity to uh, stick a run in there. And, you know, we got it. We blocked it up well. You know, Dieter came around, um, pulled on the uh, safety who was in a linebacker kind of position, and, and Laird uh, made a real good run, picked up a, a, a first down there. So thought it was a really, really, really nice call by Chan. Safed. Hey, Flo, just wanted to get an update on, on Solomon Kinley's situation. And also, are you guys planning to leave um, maybe after Christmas morning, after after everybody gets to spend a little time with the family, or you guys leaving before Christmas? Um, we're going to leave on Christmas Day. Obviously, the game's on the 26th, so we'll leave on Christmas Day. Uh, Solomon, he's uh, you know still being evaluated. But, you know, he was in there here this morning. Um, look, he's going to do everything he can to get out there. So it's a tough kid. You know, but, you know, we're, we're, we'll see where this where this is. Still got to kind of do some more tests. And uh, Obviously, he's treating and things of that nature, but we got to run a few more tests here. Steve? Ryan, we know well your laser focus uh, what would your reaction be, or what is your reaction if you overhear a couple of your players talking about the playoffs? Yeah, I don't have a problem with people, you know, talking about whatever they want to talk about. But I mean, our playoffs is this week against the Raiders, so that's kind of that's my that's my. You can call this. You can call this. If, you know, let's call it the playoffs this, this week against Raiders. Let's call it that. So it's one game at a time. I mean, that's kind of where my focus is, and that's where we would try to direct their focus. If they're talking about anything else, it's about the Raiders. It's one game. It's a one game season. Let's call it a one game playoff season. All right. One more question. We'll go to Adam. Yeah, I wanted to kind of piggyback on, on Steve's question. Um, 
you have the second youngest team in the NFL. I think your average age is like 25 this month. Um, it's, it's experiences that a lot of these guys never had before. Uh, how invaluable is it not just for this year, for what you're building to, to be in a playoff race, to make the playoffs, to, to, to make some noise. Well, I mean, we're in a one game season. I mean, that's kind of, you know, I think it's, it's, Look to play in, you know, it's hard to play in this league, you know, whether it's September, obviously in December, it's, you know, when, when you're playing in meaningful games, there's, there's, there's a little bit added, you know, anxiety or stress, if you want to call it that, but um, it's good to kind of go through that and realize you're just still playing football. So, um, but yeah, it's a one game season for us.